Sup? So, uh, what's going on, everybody? Uh, sorry, I'm driving through a little strip mall that we have here. Um, but uh, going home, and I actually uh, just ran to Hobby Lobby, and I got some Elmer's glue. I can't find a big. I need a big thing of freaking Elmer's glue, and I nobody around here has it, so I'm still looking. So, anyways, so I bought two, I guess, medium-sized things of Elmer's glue. And because uh, I'm going to work on my pumpkins today, or at least try to uh, get it to where uh, I kind of know what I'm doing before I kind of buy the big giant tub of Elmer's glue and start using the Elmer's glue with um, the uh, cotton balls to kind of add some texture and stuff to the cheap plastic um, pumpkins that I uh, use. So, anyways, uh, the other thing I bought is I bought a hot glue gun. Yay! Because uh, I have a project that I'm going to show you everything here uh, in a second, but uh, this project is going to be very, very easy to do. It's uh, it's not going to take long at all, but I think once I'm done with it, um, it actually may be kind of cool because I have some ideas with it. And the idea is this: uh, I'm taking a, an empty jar, and uh, and I'm gotten some like twine, and I'm going to hot glue the twine onto the jar, and then spray paint the jar. Uh, where it kind of looks used and beat up a little bit and then uh, I'm gonna put uh, maybe a snake or something inside of it so it looks kind of creepy and then I'm gonna hang it uh, in our front yard this year because um, the whole front yard is gonna get changed Steve and I've been talking and uh, we got a lot of work to do um, but I think this year is gonna be one of our best years for our setup so anyway so enough of me jibber-jabbering here uh, I'm on my way home and I'm gonna unload my trunk and then uh, get to work here and I'll show you guys what that looks like here and, right. uh, show you guys what I bought and then uh, what I'm gonna uh, start to get to work on uh, I bought a it's over here <laughs> new glue gun Woo! nothing expensive a big whopping I think three dollar glue gun some glue sticks some Elmer's glue all right um, the only reason I bought that size, and I, only, I actually bought two of them for now, um, I'm going to be kind of practicing what I'm about to do, and I didn't want to spend a, uh, a crap load of money on uh, something that wasn't going to work real well for me. So, bought those, I got my uh, cotton balls out, I got my pumpkin out, okay? And uh, a couple block, couple vlogs ago, a couple videos ago, I uh, I put up a video of uh, I don't remember who it was and where it was and all that jazz, but um, they took the cheap pumpkins and uh, and they used the cotton balls and the glue and they covered them all up in it like two layers I believe it was and then they painted them. And it just gave it a little bit more of a, a realistic uh, look. Didn't look like a store-bought pumpkin. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying it on this pumpkin here. Um, before I go to the big ones that um, I'm going to have with the scarecrows this year in my front yard. So um, that's that. So then the other project that I'm doing is I'm going to try it on this jar first. Before I uh, get some more jars and try it. Um, but... Uh, I think it was Haunt, uh, Hauntcast uh, put a video, I think it was last year, two years ago, whatever it was, of him making like witches jars, and I saw that he actually has them uh, hanging from his tree, so um, I'm, I may do that, I'm, I don't know exactly where I'm going to put them this year yet, uh, but I'm going to try one of them and see how it works, so that's that, uh, going to get to work. And I'm going to show you guys uh, what it all looks like and how I'm doing the progress and all that here in a second. Number one uh, is pretty done. I may clean it up a little bit more, uh, but it's not supposed to be perfect. And that's my witch's jar. Um, 
here it is. My without the uh, actually surprisingly, those came from Transworld last year, so I still uh, have those. But here's my witch's jar. I just got done spray painting it, so, uh, so that's that. But uh, don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. I don't know if I'm going to use it this year. Uh, but I tell you, uh, when we do use the uh, the gore area, um, kind of our cabin, this will definitely uh, be in there. But I just glued, hot glued um, it all over the place. And, uh, and then I spray painted a little brown and a little black on it. I'm not so worried about the top. I may actually uh, take some pieces of twine and kind of go across the top. But I don't know that part yet. I may not. So, um, but anyways, that's my little witch's jar. I've been wanting to do that. And I just needed a hot glue gun. So, um, anyways, so that's that. Next is my pumpkin. I'm at least going to attempt that. So, um, I'll be right back. Okay, so I changed my, my plan, uh, my idea. Um, I was using the Elmer's glue and the cotton, the cotton balls and all that on the pumpkin. I'm going to show you what, as I'm walking, I'm going to tell you, but uh, show you what I'm going to, I think, how I'm gonna end up doing this. It was taking too long and it wasn't, uh, I don't know, there was just something about it I, I didn't like for me. So, last year, um, a guy on Facebook and YouTube and all that, he's a friend of mine from uh, Muscuda, his name's Digger. Sup, Digger? Um, I'll put a link uh, with his stuff below so you can check his stuff out. Uh, but anyways, last year, he gave Steve and I a crap load of uh, this glue. And we used him. You've seen him uh, with our one of our spider victims. Um, it's in my shed right now. But uh, we used it to paper mache him. And then we mosh posh, put mosh posh um, over that to kind of keep it all uh, together and looking good. Well, I think I'm doing that pretty much the same exact thing with my pumpkins I'm trying it with this um, basically what I did is I just took um, Scott Toss and I put it all the way around him I can't really touch it because it's uh, pretty wet with glue right now gonna let it dry but what I did is I sprayed this on the pumpkin first and then uh, put the paper mache, I mean the uh, paper mache, but the um, Scott towels over it. And then after that got on there, then I actually sprayed it again. But this time I sprayed the, uh, there it goes, yeah, it's nice and sticky. Uh, I sprayed the paper, I mean the, the paper towels. Now what happens is that as it dries, um, it starts kind of wrinkling up and uh and so on so what will end up happening is that this is the front these are uh these are the eyes that's the nose and then this is the mouth so when that dries i'll cut those out and then i'll respray it again and then i'll put another layer of uh, paper towels on i don't have time to do it today uh, but i'm gonna let that dry um but uh but yeah i'm gonna put another layer of paper towels on that and then once that dries uh then i will paint it i just need to get a, a good uh, i want like a dark orange um and then i need at least another can of brown as well um and spray paint it uh that way it's got an old pumpkin feel but yet it doesn't look like something bought right out of the store the other nice thing about this here uh being covered up is that now i can take it cut it um and kind of do whatever I want with it, making it look like my own. If I want to make it look a little bit meaner, um, I can do that. Here's so. a question that I'm going to answer for you. Uh, people have actually texted me, I mean, uh, sent me uh, messages and asked me about uh, Transworld. Well, here's the deal. Uh, Transworld, it's, uh, I think it's either 50 or 60 bucks. It may be still 50, uh, but go to their website and you go to the, the um, Oh, I think it says register or registration or something like that. Anyways, uh, go to that part 
and it looks like it's really complicated like they want you to sign up for all this crap and all that it's not it's really easy there's nothing to it um, you just basically give them your uh, your money and uh, your address and all that jazz tell them that you're a home haunter or what you do and uh, and they send you your email I did it all over the internet so I didn't have to wait for tickets, which was really nice, and I get my badge and all that when we show up there on uh, March 8th, I think it is, 7th or 8th, but I'll be there on the 8th, because um, i got to work on the 7th, I think it's that, but anyways, so I'll put a link uh, below as well to uh, Transworld and uh, how that whole thing works out, so... Anyways, uh, that's it. Hope you guys are uh, maybe kind of getting going a little bit. This is my kind of uh, first few projects uh, for this year. If this pumpkin thing works out uh, to where the way I think it's going to, I'm going to have a lot more pumpkins to work on. A lot more. Um, and then I want to do some more jars and stuff as well. So, um, But yeah, Steve and I are, are looking forward to this year. And uh, we already already have a bunch of junk to work on. We haven't been even been to Transworld yet. So, uh, pretty stinking excited. So, anyways, so stay scary, happy haunting, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.